Welcome back. Today I would like to share you 15 more jailbreak tweaks and all of those tweaks are compatible with iOS 13.5. Now, if you take a look on my home screen, you can see all of the icons are animated and it is giving you a light icon and you can see all of the icon is animated. So before you can apply this to your icon, you need to have Toon C. So if I go to settings, and you can see I have Toon C installed and the repo can be found in description and then you can go to themes and you can select on anime tune here so you can download it from side here so you can purchase it on side here and then you can just um, drag like that and to in the ball section and then all of the icon will be um, animated so as you can see on my home screen right here move on to row fee so if you take a look on my home screen right now on the right side on the top you can see we have a little bar right here where i can swipe to the left and it will bring up a bunch of icon right here so where i can just access to any app much faster and you can see here i can also scroll if i have more than apps and then i can just click on it so now i am jump into music straight away and you can also select the custom one as well for yourself so go to settings and go to row fee right here where you can select the application right here and these are the application that um, i have just show you at the moment and now you can add more as well let's go to app store and go to amazon right here and then we have slider color where you can change the color on slider as well it is pretty awesome and then you can see the slider has been changed and you can also change the height as well you can go either to small and this is much bigger and then we have also um, the thickness and I'm gonna go to here and now go back to home screen I can swipe again and it will bring up the icon right here and sometimes you need to respring to take effect so I'm gonna respring now go back to the home screen we can swipe again and now we have more icon that we have just add then I can click on app store and I will jump to app store straight away side label certain basically for the tweaks it allows you to hide the label from the icon so if I go to one second and when I go back to my home screen and as soon as one second has passed it's gonna hide the label from the icon and there is no label right now or I can just um, go to more let's go to five seconds and then I can just um, apply it now after five seconds the label will be high and here we go so the label is high right now move on to Y John and so for the tweaks it's gonna show a little message at the bottom when your phone is connected to the Wi-Fi so it just gives you a little message so if I disconnect my Wi-Fi and then when I reconnect it it's gonna show the little Tall message right here you can see so I am connected to uh, my Wi-Fi let's go to pastel and for the tweaks it's gonna give you a color on bed so if you take a look on the icon bed right here it's gonna adapt it to the icon itself as well and you can also use the custom color as well go back to pastel and now you can scroll down and make sure you enable use custom border and then I can just select the custom bed color right here and then I can just use the custom take color so I'm gonna go to let's say go to black and then I can click on done and now for the custom border I can go to yellow and click on done and then make sure you enable this one as well to use the custom color and now I can go back and you can see we have the custom color right now on the icon badge let's go to data logo switcher it allows you to change data logo so if you have 3G on your device you can select this one to change to the other and if you have LTE you're gonna select on this one 
But now right now my phone is in 3G. I can select on 3G logo right here where I can change to LTE plus and then I can just simply save and respring. Now when I pull down control center, you can see on cellular data right here, it changed to LTE plus. Let's go to day and night switch. So for the tweaks, it's gonna change the button. So all of the button in your phone is gonna change to day and night. So for example, on Bluetooth, when I enable it on the button, it's gonna change to day. And if I disable it, it's gonna show the night icon here. So basically for your phone, when you create a node, you cannot see modify and create the date. But after you install this one, you gonna just pull down on node and you can see the day that you have created your node and also the day that you modify your node. So it is pretty useful as well if you want to confirm the day and the date that you create and modify your node. Now move on to drag in a blur. So for the tweaks, it's gonna give you the feature from the iPad, drag and drop feature from the iPad to your iPhone. So let me show you right now. So if I go to Safari right here, I can just hold on the image and then I can go back to home screen and go to node and I can just drop the image right here. So it is pretty useful feature as well. So for the tweaks, it is a quick way to insert emoji into your message. So you can add emoji much quicker and faster. I can just tie something like that and then it will just um, pop up the emoji right here. And you can also set the custom emoji as well. Go back to settings, go to take emojis and where you can select custom sort codes. And here is the custom one that I have just added. It is, it is the love emoji. So if I go back to message, I can tie something like this and then it's gonna pop up the custom one you can see here. Color me notification allow you to have the custom notification on your phone. And now when I go to my notification center right here, so you can see the custom notification where you have the custom border and the color as well. So it is pretty um, beautiful. You can also customize the notification as you want as well. So it does support on widgets and right here where you can um, change the color on widget as well. So you can see on my widget right here, we have the custom border and custom background. And I can go back to settings. And then we can also change the notification here. So all of the color and all of the style can be done from here. Pip let you hide status bar with just one tap. So if I tap on the status bar, it's gonna hide the status bar completely. And when you want to show it back, just tap on the status bar again. You can see the status bar is back. Screenshot accents will add a quick accent to screenshot preview. So if I take a screenshot right here, where I can just hold on the screenshot preview, and then you can see a bunch of options where you can copy image and delete, or you can delete the image entirely or copy and share the image as well. Easy edit alarm allow you to edit your alarm with just one tap. You don't need to click on edit and then click here. So you just up directly tap on here and then you're gonna go to edit mode directly. So it is a quick way to edit your alarm. Now move on to the last one. It is a theme for the camera icon and you can change your camera icon to many different styles and where you have from the iPhone 11, the iPhone 7, the iPhone 8 or the iPhone 8, iPhone 7 and iPhone 11 Pro and so on and mostly from all of those devices so you can select your favorite one and I'm gonna scroll and find my favorite one So let's go to red 11. I can just enable here and then click on apply. Click on the check button. And now when I go back to my home screen, you, you can see the camera icon has been changed. It is pretty awesome and it looks realistic. 
And finally, thanks for watching. I hope you like all of these tweaks. And then I will catch you guys in the next one.